Hey, how's it going guys? It's Zedai here. So today I wanted to discuss regarding about the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, this is not confirmed information, obviously. I don't even think we will get it anytime soon, this you know new version of a PlayStation 5. If we do get it, I think it will be something more closer to PlayStation 5 Slim instead of a you know like a PlayStation 5 Pro. Because like last time when we see seen something like this, it was obviously the PlayStation 4 Pro. And of course, at a similar time, similar year, we received PlayStation 4 uh, Slim. On top of that right so basically that was the back then in generation 8 uh, with the uh, PlayStation 4 then the generation you know 8.5 you know midway through basically we could say PlayStation 4 Pro and the PlayStation Slim were released you know with the capabilities that they could actually push the game up to 4k quality some games even up to 60 FPS included and then now of course as we're you know used to uh, we finally have got Generation 9 with the PlayStation 5 and of course Series X and S. Now, here's the a little bit of a controversy going on and you know a lot of people started having a discussion. Basically, last time there was basically a TCL event and there have been a showcase or like a slideshow, right? Basically mentioning, you know, what the future could be looking like, you know, what it, it makes sense why they do it. Basically, it's for business marketing. But of course, this actually stirred a little bit of a discussion and a little bit of a concern to, on top of that to see that, you know, what the PlayStation 5 Pro or what the next version of Series X and S could be capable of. And on top of that, they actually even mentioned that it could be releasing sometime in 2023 or 2024. Now, still, it's interesting to see this and actually to, uh, you know, kind of foresee what could be happening in the future, right? Because, like, personally for me, I would want to see something like a PlayStation 5 Slim or maybe even PlayStation 5 Pro sometime soon. But again, I'm one of the people that actually got PlayStation 5 right on day one. So, you know, I can say this easily. But a lot of guys, unfortunately, did not get an opportunity of getting a PlayStation 5 console. And such, they still cannot get it. So this is why a lot of people uh, and are of course arguing and very negative about this that they are saying wait we don't even have a PlayStation 5 why the hell are they even making a PlayStation 5 Pro now? Still this is not confirmed news but Sony said nothing of a PlayStation 5 Pro they may not even be a PlayStation 5 Pro on top of that they like what would be the reason of having a PlayStation 5 Pro if we have heard that there are chip shortages and there's like issues with that and on top of that there's so much demand for these consoles that they cannot uh, produce them quickly enough and on top of that if you do it too quickly you may have faults and problems in the future that you know you will have an unforeseen circumstances that you have to cover for and as such that it's necessary to take a bit of time to make sure that these consoles work and they actually meet the demand that people wanted to you know, be in a higher possible quality. And so, of course, this means that a possibility, this is just a speculation of mine, that if there will be a next generation version of the PlayStation 5, or perhaps like a, sl a slim version of that, or perhaps a pro version, whatever, maybe they could actually find some ways to have the components inside the console that will be a lot easier to produce or perhaps easier to actually gain access to. So they could sell these consoles more often and so to meet the, that the very high demand that there is currently. As of now, uh, well, since the release of the PlayStation 4, okay, it came out in 2013, right? And then I believe it was three years later, we've gotten a PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation Slim. That was in 2016. And then I believe that, you know, four following years later, we finally got the PlayStation 5. So it's not really like, you know, Kind of ridiculous thought that there may be something like a PlayStation 5 Pro or PlayStation 5 Slim in 2013 because remember 2020 the PlayStation 5 released 2013 at the end of that year they could be PlayStation 5 uh, Pro or Slim or perhaps if they want to at this point it's most likely if there will be something it will be 2024 instead so four years from well two years from now and so 2024 could actually see PlayStation 5 Pro and a PlayStation 5 Slim. That's of course again if it does manage to uh, get in the shelves, get in the stores and actually for people to gain you know, access, not access, like actually purchase these consoles quite easily without having to always constantly paying attention to the stores online and um, you know, hoping that you will actually finally purchase for yourself a PlayStation 5 console. 
So here's my thought, okay? I think that it is turning. I do believe that. Now, would I want to see PlayStation 5 Pro in the future or PlayStation 5 Slim? Yes. Yes, 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 because I think that the PlayStation 5 itself could use a Pro, uh, a Slim version. If there is a PlayStation 5 Pro, I, I will end up getting that instead, of course. But, you know, it's still, you got to understand, the console is already very big. So having a slim version of it, it will be nice, of course. But if we're going to get a pro version of that, I'm going to get that instead. Still, you know, for me, it's all about the consoles and the capabilities of their first party games. Because I absolutely love, uh, you know, Sony's uh, PlayStation uh, games because they are, they are simply fantastic. And if it means that my console can actually perform a super steady 60 FPS with 4K resolution native, mind you, then yeah, I'll be a, I'll be very happy camper. But at that point as well, you know, you'll be kind of having concerns within that too, right? Because like, wait, is this going to be becoming like a next generation of phones? Remember, right? Because we have iPhones, we have Android phones, and they're constantly releasing with new phones, new iterations, and basically not much has been changed within these years because they're pretty much releasing these phones annually. And a lot of people do not like that. Some people don't mind that. Console, though, is a different situation. Console isn't exactly a, a PC. PC, in this case, you can do the uh, annual releases and different ch things that you can change within the PC, right? You know, different components, different motherboards, different GPUs, CPUs, and stuff like that. A console is a different situation. You literally have to replace the whole damn thing, not just equipment inside of it. But as such, if they are becoming more frequent, can we even ca call that consoles? Because what is a console to us? It's the friendly approach of simply go and play the, uh, that particular game with very much of ease that you would want to see in the consoles. But when consoles become a lot more convoluted, that might be a problem. Nowadays, consoles are such a like power-hungry graphics, like you know, so much things that you can do. It's just that you kind of feel like, okay, is this a PC now? It's becoming a little, feels like it's becoming a little bit more like a PC because mind you, there's even our browsers on the, on the consoles nowadays, music you can listen to, movies you can watch as well. So that's why there's like entertainment. It's just, it's becoming more than just a simple gaming console. And of course, you know, with Xbox One issues that they had, like obviously they lost the whole generation because of the showcase of their Xbox One. And of course now they're going back and becoming more of a game gaming console with the Xbox series and you know consoles but you know PlayStation itself and PlayStation 5, PlayStation Slim, PlayStation 5 uh, I'm talking about Slim and the Pro versions I would want to see them but only a little bit later than we currently at now two years I would say will be the minimum amount but as long as they can meet the demand that people would like to have PlayStation 5 consoles in their houses and actually have you know capabilities of buying these consoles with ease because i have heard that there are speculations that chip shortages can even go all the way to 2024 and that's a big problem because like if there's another console that sony or even xbox right has to develop like a pro version or a slim version of those then obviously we'll need to have more chips and as such because of this the chips already has a big shortage so like is there a benefit to it? Because like you're always going to be constantly on demand and you cannot fulfill that. And perhaps in some cases you will lose that, you know, profit. You would lose that money and that revenue. It makes sense, at least in some ways, for this, you know, pro version, a slim version of consoles to exist. I do see it and I do see it being uh, coming to fruition in the future, but not yet. We're not currently there yet. I think two years as of now i think it's the minimum amount that we should wait and but i would like to see something like that but like i said in two years all right guys tell me down in the comments as well what you think about this you know playstation 5 pro uh the very new xbox series x and s or whatever versions of those because uh, like we actually have to consider one other thing there's a playstation 5 digital edition right so what does that mean playstation 5 pro digital edition like you see there's gonna be a lot more variety and then it will end up becoming like more of a phones because like right there's an iphone 14 max pro max you know there's always these new versions of iphones they have yearly now that they come out there's a lot more convoluted in a lot of cases and perhaps even complicated too and of course different prices different ranges so it's like that's why i'm saying like is it, can we really consider this a console anymore <laughs> but either way that's all i got for today tell me down in the comments again uh, like and subscribe guys and have a wonderful day.